Now another important topic or very common question as well, how do we negotiate a salary sir? We want more salary, how do we get more? Firstly, never talk about salary in the first interview. There is always a separate salary negotiation round. And this will happen only if you get selected through the first one. Your focus has to be on the first one first. Salary comes in much later. Remember, it has to be done by preparing with the industry, preparing the industry average of the salary expectation. And for that, you need to do research. We just spoke about that in the, in the previous video, where you have to start doing research around the industry average of the position that you're applying for in terms of salary. What is it that people very similar to this position in the same industry are getting? It's very important to know that you have to keep a 20% margin, not more than that. If it's 1 lakh, keep a 1 lakh 20 as margin. You can quote it at 1 lakh 20 because that is still comfortable for the recruiter. The moment you say 1 lakh 30, 1 lakh 40, it becomes a lot. So, in order to reach that 1 lakh, I'm just giving an example. In whatever sense, if you're talking about 1 lakh per month, then you should be sure that this position is getting 1 lakh per month in the same industry in a competing company. Only then will your 1 lakh stand true. You can't just say something that you genuinely want. It's, it depends on something that is being offered by the industry. For that, you will have to do your research. You will start connecting with people. LinkedIn will help you. So keep a 20% margin for negotiation. CTC versus cash in hand. Cost to company versus cash in hand. Now, you must have seen that whenever there is a salary quotation, when there, whenever there is a package being offered, it is always in CTC. You'll see CTC 12 lakh per annum, for example. It means 1 lakh CTC, cost to company. It is the overall cost that the company will bear for one individual in one year. For this person, it is 12 lakh. Cash in hand is the money that will be credited to your account. How much money you will get to spend. CTC is always more than the cash in hand. Cash in hand will be after certain number of deductions. There will be some tax deduction. Based on law, you, the salary will also get deducted in terms of some PF, some provident fund. There is an employee provident fund. There are some allowances that you will get. All of these things will have to be taken into consideration. You can negotiate around CTC and CTA. They might say that, oh sorry, CIA, which is cash in hand. They might say that, you know, your CTC is 12 lakh, but eventually out of 1 lakh per month, you are getting only 70,000. That 30,000 is going somewhere, right? So in case you think that you need more to spend, you can then negotiate around the cash in hand. The package remains the same, but you are getting 70. How about you now get 85, but the CTC remains the same. So your expenditure can increase. The remaining money is being saved or, or is being deducted to, through legal uh, uh, obligations and, and, and binding. However, you can still negotiate over here. You have to understand what are the other benefits that you're getting. Is there transportation involved? Is there food involved? Is there some kind of activity which is involved? Something that you would have to spend on otherwise. If it wasn't there, it will be, of course, you will have to spend it from your own pocket, which is cash in hand. So if you're able to save out on this much of money, you can calculate that if I wasn't getting these benefits, I would have had to spend from my pocket and hence have a higher cash in hand. So all of these things are also to be taken into consideration and never talk about salary in your first round. This is one thing I've, I'm making myself very clear about. Very, very important. It's important to start connecting with people on LinkedIn, talk to them, understand the salary expectations of the industry. The CTC might be already written in the job description. So if the cash to, if the cost to company is already mentioned in the job description, you cannot increase it. Which means this is what the company is ready to give. Yes, there might be an opportunity where the company might say that, boss, we need you. You tell us what money you want. Then only will they be able to be flexible with the CTC. Otherwise, it won't happen. I don't want you to do that. We will now be moving on to common interview mistakes, which is in the next video.